Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. We're out here on the Fenrir this morning. We're gonna be heading into the third and final portal. This one's gonna be going to Vanaheim. It's kind of like the green biome. And I think that's the one that's supposed to have the forest titan in there. So we're just gonna be taking him in and I have the rock drake on us as well. I was thinking about taking the Giga just in case, but I think we'll leave him here. We'll kind of do some exploring around and see what it's like first. I don't know if it's going to be cold or hot. I'm guessing since it's the forest biome, it's going to be kind of like a neutral temperature. So we aren't taking any extra armor, just going with our leather. Hopefully that'll be enough. I also left the Ferox back at base there. So we should be safe if anything happens. The Fenrir can kind of take care of himself and then the Rock Drake can as well. I was thinking about bringing the Griffin in for like our, kind of like our air mount, but he's not really good at fighting. So, <laughs> I think the rock trick will be a little bit better. Probably going to do a little bit of exploring on the wolf before we get out the rock trick. Just because whenever you're flying, you miss a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Yep, that's a lot further than I thought. Oh my gosh, dude, we took a bunch of damage on that. Dude, we all... <laughs> well, he's going to have a little bit less health than he should. But we'll get in here, jump into the portal, see what it's like. And... There's supposed to be, I think, a, a, th a fourth, third, fourth. There'll be the fourth one. Open world boss in there. So if so, we'll try to take him out if we can. I did bring some extra rune stones just in case. And if we don't, at least we'll do a little bit of exploring and see what's around in there, right? Put you in here for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. That was kind of a, <laughs> that was a rough trip down. So this is Vanaheim. Five of you, please. One portal in. Let's get the shotgun out. Hopefully we're not going to have an ambush waiting for us when we get in there. Should be pretty good. And we're here. Nothing's attacking us. Fantastic start. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Ah, oh, dude. I wonder if it's going to be... That's not really a closed canopy. So we aren't underground. I know in Extinction, we're kind of underground, right? Down in the... The green biome. So I was kind of wondering if it was going to be like in here. So, what's our temperature like? 68. So not too bad. It's kind of like a neutral one. So that's good. That's good. It's going to have a lot of the assets, I'm guessing, from Genesis. Because these flowers are all over the place. Which is fantastic. Oh, dude. I bet it looks pretty nice at nighttime here. With those kind of lighting up the path. I think what we're going to do is follow the path around. And there's a pig. Don't want to mess with him. We'll follow the paths. I've noticed on Asgard, he's got paths that kind of lead to where things are. So maybe we'll do that instead of just running around and flying all over the place. And I don't know what creatures are going to be in here. So over in Asgard, we've got the Maywings, we've got the Gas Bags, the Shadow Mains, and then the Drakes and stuff. And then over in the Cold One, we have the Ice Wyverns, the Fenrirs, the X versions of creatures. So I don't know what's going to be in here. It's kind of a... Kind of the thing. Let's see, we go left to right. Let's go left. Then we'll come back and go right if we have to. But I am not seeing anything. Maybe stuff hasn't spawned in yet. We do got mushrooms, though. So that's a good thing. Use a lot of those for making that mushroom brew and stuff for the... Tames for the Aberration Cave. Dude, we're out of stamina. Oh, I need to quit jumping like that. That's how we lost all of our... All of our health a few minutes ago. Alright, some scorpions. Dude, is that the... What if that's like the rocks that are on Aberration down in the blue zone? It is. It's the ones that have a lot of metal in it. Nice, man. Nice. So we could actually bring the Magmasaur in here and do quite a bit of harvesting. Because he does that auto smelt mode and everything. Drop some of this wheat. And let's put those in there just for safekeeping. I don't want to accidentally drop them. I'm sure that will happen. And that's the end of that path. Maybe we have to double back. Dude, it looks awesome in here, man. I don't know what's up there. Oh, dude, is that... Is that a wyvern trench? That's the walls from it. Switch over to the Drake real quick. Keep forgetting how big he is. And what's in here? Absolutely nothing. Nice waterfall, though. 
We gotta level up on him. Let's put that into... Let's put it into health. Help keep you alive, some buddy. Yeah, this looks like... Looks like Wyvern Trench material around here. Is that a cave? Oh, it is. Oh, and there's a Wyvern right there. Let's go invisible mode. Just to be safe. I bet it's a poison one, isn't it? I'm guessing because of all the green. Yep, yep. Oh, that's a 170. Well, we didn't come here to steal eggs. However, if we find one, and there's one here, <laughs> we might end up grabbing it. That's the only one I see in here. Egg and wyvern, so that's not too bad. Yep, keep flying. I want to get up in this nest so I can... Dude, you're... You gotta... We gotta... We gotta work on this a little bit, buddy. Okay? There we go. I know, it's probably me. It's not you, right? Let him get his stamina back. What level are you? That's a 170. Oh, dude, we gotta... We gotta grab it, man. We gotta... It's not what we're here for, but... We gotta do it. Gotta do it! We'll have to kill that one when he comes up. Hopefully, we don't die because of the poison. Alright, so we're invisible. I know it's kind of counterintuitive to go into the nest, but that might be safer. We just need to stay away from his, uh, not his bite, but his, his breath, his fireball, his poison ball. You know what I mean? The green thing that he spits at us. <laughs> we don't have a gas mask or else we'd be okay. Well, if anything, we'll have us a very nice poison wyvern egg. I mean, we have that zombie one back at base. Oh, dude, we got hit, too. Yep, yep. He's in bad shape, though. He's about dead anyways. Another bite or two, he should be dead. Interesting, so there's only one in here. I mean, I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. Let's put some... Let's put some more into stamina. We seem to be running out of stamina quick, and let's hold on to that. Oh, we were invisible. My bad. Dude, this is an awesome cave. A lot of nests, but they're all empty except for that front one. There's another dragon there. I don't think he'll mess with us, right? Oh, there's another egg. Dude, we're not here for eggs, man, but... <laughs> I mean, it's hard not to, right? 25. Not worth the trouble. I tell you what, let's... Yep, 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 yep. Let's leave the the eggs and stuff alone and get out of here. I think we're at the back of the cave anyways. Nice, man, nice. Well, we haven't been here but for a minute, and we got us a level 170 egg. Dude, would you get off the walls, please? We are out of stamina. That's one thing about the Drake. All right, let's do some exploring, man. That's what we're here for. We'll, we'll kind of set some missions up to come back later and do specific things. Let's get our stamina. We'll cloak up and just glide right out. I like it, though. I like it. It's a nice little cave. Not much in here. One way in, one way out. That kind of worries me. All right, it's good enough. Nice little glide. I do like the crystals in the ceiling, too. Dude, I can't believe that first nest there. <laughs> Such a high level egg. It's like we run in, we steal it, and glide out like nothing ever happened. Ah, it's awesome. Cool, so what I think I want to do is throw the wolf back out, and we'll go down here, and maybe we'll try going up and the other path that kind of branched off to the left up here. So we're kind of looking for creatures to see what we can find. What was this? I don't think it's anything. It's not. We'll see what kind of creatures are over here. I didn't bring anything for taming, but we'll keep an eye out. Oh, little bulb dogs! We'll have to come back and grab one of them for sure. And then we're kind of looking for the terminals, right? To see if there's that open world boss terminal and then the forest titan terminal. So we kind of need to find those two things. Kind of the goal for this one. Exploring and find those. And we'll go from there. And hopefully, following the path, we'll be able to get back to the obelisk. Because, dude, it's going to be so easy to get lost in here. I can see it now. Well, oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, but no, we're here now. <laughs> ah, dude, it looks nice in here. Yeah, we'll have to stick around till nighttime to see what it looks like with the the nightlife around here. Do we split again? 
It does. We got a right and a left. Let's um continue going this way because this is kind of looping back up by where the obelisk is, I think, right? Yeah, we can kind of see the green through the trees there. Well, that's something new. Get our stamina back a little bit. We'll head in here. That is a cave of something in a tree. I don't know if there's artifacts in here either. I don't think there is artifacts in the portals. Might just be somewhere to build. Oh, dude, it looks pretty cool, though. Nothing in here, though, huh? Just a... Oh, we can't even get back there. Oh, that kind of sucks. Neat location, though. So I'm guessing if you can build in these, you could probably just wall this off, put a big behemoth gate there, and then have your little base set up in here. That's kind of neat, man. It's nice. It's not far from the portal. It's literally just... Down this trail, hang a right and a left, and you're back at the obelisk for us to go back out. Haven't seen any other creatures, though. It kind of sucks. Wait, what is that? What is that? That's just regular rock? Looks kind of weird. We safe? We good? Huh, a lot of metal in that. Interesting. I have never seen one that kind of looked like that, you know? Let's put that into there so we don't actually need drop it as well. Hmm, all right. <laughs> Back to looking around, man. Well, now. That is a whole lot of nope right there. Level 140, I kind of don't want to kill him. I wouldn't mind taming him. I didn't know there was X versions of Spinos. I think we'll try to go around him, but dude, look at this view up here, man. Bunch of water, bunch of waterfalls. It looks like it goes pretty far over that way as well. Let's see if we can just kind of skip around him real quick. Oh, dude, there's more stuff down here, too. Nice, nice, interesting. Definitely wouldn't mind building over here. It's kind of different than the other biomes, you know? I mean, Asgard has the same thing as well, though, right? Where it has a really nice scenery and stuff. Dude, there's a ton of Tapiera I've seen over here. All X versions, though, it seems, too. So I'm guessing that's all that's over here is X versions, and then we have the R versions in the overworld. I think in the ice biome, a lot of that stuff was X version as well. Let's see what's over here in the water. Haven't been over here yet, though, but I do like the mushrooms, man. Is there anything back here? It is nice and shallow. So nice that the waterfalls aren't extremely loud, too. Sometimes they can get pretty noisy. Nothing back there. Just a fantastic-looking area. Let's see what's down in this big lake, too. I don't think anything's going to have stuff in the water, but... You never know. Let's get some stamina back. We are definitely out of it. I might have to get the Drake out here before too long just because, I mean, the wolf keeps running out of stamina, right? Is that a crab? Oh, dude, there's crabs over here. Looks like it drops off pretty deep, though. Let's get our stamina back and we'll jump in just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, dude, that goes deep. Yep, we got some Sarkos. We got some crabs. We got a Spino over there. Looks like some frogs, too. Interesting. I definitely do not want to go in there right now, though. Head back this way. Kind of keep following that trail around. We might be at the edge over here, finally. So if it is, we've kind of only covered about one-third of this biome. I'm guessing it's like a big circle, like usual. Can we even get back up here? Yeah, we can. So, there are Ravagers. Quite a few of them, actually. Yep, you're not going to catch me, though. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So, it seems like there's mainly aberrant stuff around here. Is that an opening in the tree? It's not. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I did see a roll rat as well. So, that's another thing that is on this, this side of the map. Oh, dude, look at the trees down here, too. Quit jumping. Oh, dude, I know the health, man. Let's 
There's another little lake here. Dude, you did such a good job with the scenery on this map. I just wish there was more dinos around here. Well, never mind. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. We have raptors all over the place. And spinos. A lot of those around, too. Alright, so we're somewhere... Somewhere. Back over where we started. But I've noticed over here has the lights on the paths. So I don't know how that's different from the other areas. We're kind of getting at the end over here. Oh, dude, there's some frogs up here as well. And there is a waterfall. With a cave behind it. Oh, dude, please tell me this is something I've been running around for so long looking for a cave. Dude, can I get up here, please? Having technical difficulties. I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. Dude, turn around, man. Tell you what, let's go over this way. I'd have to get the Drake out. There we go. So let's see where we're at, because I have no idea how to get back here. We are roughly at 0 .9, or 9.3, 84.7. Oh, we're way up there. Okay. So this one takes place under the Redwoods, kind of. Uh, dude, this is kind of creepy looking. Just saying. Looks awesome, though. But, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we're in a cave. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap, dude. That's a horrible way. Yep, yep. There we go. That's one way to get rid of those. So, this is our new cave mount. <laughs> dude, he tore up all of those dragonflies like they were nothing. We we'll have to repair our armor real quick when we're safe. We good for a minute? All right, let's repair what was broke, which is everything. I didn't expect there to be like an artifact cave. I mean, I don't know if there's artifacts in here, but it's got the same kind of creatures, you know. Pants didn't break, almost. Those are my ascendant ones too, with pretty good durability. All right, last piece, and we will continue. Let's go. Do you want to go right or left? Let's go right. Left looks like it goes down pretty far. Watch them. <laughs> Both lead to the same place. Let's drop a little bit of weight. We're going to keep some of this. Oh, yeah. We're going to need to keep quite a bit of that, actually. We'll keep that. Yep, I hear you. Give me a minute, please. Yep, you brought friends, didn't you? Huh, huh? Dude, that was a horrible entrance into the cave. And we're wept. Fantastic. Yep, yep, yep. I hear all of you. Oh my gosh, look at them all, dude. And there they go. <laughs> oh, dude, we got our... <laughs> we lost our armor again. Oh, man, those centipedes, dude. They're no joke. That is such a nice feature with this team. Tell you what, we're gonna only keep our pants repaired. We have them on, so we're good. Check to see if there's anything in the water. Oh, dude, that goes down super deep. We're gonna need scuba, I think, to get down there. Oh, there's eels, tell what, bail out. Oh, dude, bail out. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so we're gonna have to come back here with some scuba gear. I don't know what's going to be down there. I really want to find out. However, we are definitely not equipped. And I'm guessing... Was that another way down here? Or is that just a rock? That's just a rock, okay. Yep, I guess this is the same way that leads up here. So just the same, yep, same way of going down and up. Power right through that. <laughs> Even though we're webbed. We're out of stamina now, though. Hey, what, he's got one point off of that. Let's put that into... Put it in stamina. We keep running out of it. Ah, man, that sucks. We can't get down in there. I don't think we can make it down there with the wolf. I really don't. I wonder if... Maybe we could try with the drake. 
right? He's a little bit faster in the water. Let's try that. Let's kill this guy off. It might be a suicide run with those eels down there. Oh, I hear you. That's the one that was walking circles over there, I think. Alright, so if we get dismounted, we are totally screwed because I don't have anything to fight off the eels with. And I'm hoping he fits. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them down there, too! One, two, three, four, five, I see about six. Long as we can... kill them all off without getting dismounted, we'll be okay. We'll go up, get air, and then come back down and actually swim through it. There's one. Oh, there's more. There's more. We should start heading up for air. Let's, uh, yep, to the top. Kind of, kind of start making our way up there, buddy. I know this is definitely not the ideal situation. However, it might lead them up here. Which would benefit us. Oh, let's get out. Because then we can use the shotgun. Uh-huh, where are you at now? Well, I can't hit nothing, can I? They're kind of hard to see. Might be the better bet anyways. Now, there's one. Oh my gosh, I was a level 170. No wonder we had problems with them. What is that in the water there? Oh, that's the carcass, I think, from the one. Kind of wanted to get them to come over here, but... There we go, there's another one. They're kind of far away for the shotgun, you know? Dude, that is a lot of shots. Oh my gosh, a 260. I don't think I've ever seen them that high. Now we got two more. We got one over here. Yep, it's on the move. We got one more. Kind of see him down there shocking around a little bit. Nice. All right, let's get back on the Drake. Eat a little bit of food. Dude, I did not bring enough food into here. I didn't think we'd be in here this long, to be honest with you. Speaking of food, we'll grab some of that. We'll cook it up if we have to. So we should be good in here now. I think those were the only ones that we saw. Nope, there's one more. Come on, dude. I'm on like... Oh, there's two more. I'm on a uh, time-limited mission here. Oh, there's a bunch more. Holy crap, man. All right, we got to go back up for air again. It's all right. Follow me up here, dude. It's a process, man. It's a process. Yep, there goes our air. So the thing is, I wonder how far in the cave that goes to, right? Sorry, we're gonna just try to swim for it. Yep, there we go. There's the other other exit. We just gotta get up, buddy. Come on, man. We're getting low on air. You can make it. I can't see. I can't see anything. Oh, just get me up to some air. Oh, dude. That is not welcoming. Oh, it's poison in there. Dude, what kind of place is this, man? All right, so we got the eels. Anyway, we're gonna... Gonna zoom through. I wonder how much of that damage we can take from the poison gas. If we're using a medical brew. I just want to see what's in here, you know?
Yep, yep, yep. We're running for it. Oh, we are running for it. Oh, that's all it is, is to spawn the... This forest titan. I tell you what, we're gonna grab... We're gonna grab the artifact, even though we don't need it. Until we go to spawn it. It'll be nice to have a base. Cool, man. So that's where... We spawn in the forest titan, I think. I think that's what he looks like. Nice, nice. Looks pretty neat. Now we have to go all the way back through all that stuff for nothing? <laughs> Dude. I'll have to look up to see if there's a world boss in here. I'm not sure. All right, come on, dude. We, we kind of don't need to be getting stuck here. We still got these guys to deal with down in here. Look at them all just sitting up the top here. Dude, look at all of those eels in there. Let's take care of them before we go down. That way it's going to be a straight shot down. Because of air, you know? Might need to use a shotgun up here. Dude, I think I got us into a bad situation here, man. Get rid of the centipede. So I can jump off the Drake real quick. Let's keep healing up with the medical brew. Uh, dude, we are in a very bad situation here. Alright, is everything dead around here? No, I still hear stuff. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm running out of medical brew, man. Alright. Buddy, you hang tight there, man. Give me a second, okay? Let me get rid of some of these eels. So we can get out of here. in the corner. Is that it? I think that might be good enough. Alright, let's try to jump on and get out of here, man. Everybody's in bad shape. And it's so hard to see on this dude. So it should be straight out here and then back up again. I do like how he's got the crystals in here so you can kind of see. There we go. Ah, uh, dude. Swim up, man. So we don't need an air tank. Particularly. Oh, dude. Alright, man. I think... Yep. Great. Those have spawned back in. I think what we need to do... <laughs> let's go ahead and start heading back. So we can still got to find the portal to get out. And I think when we come back through here, we will definitely bring the Fenrir just so he can easily get through all of the dragonflies. Oh, dude, he makes dragonflies so much easier to deal with. Can I get a little unwebbed, please? Appreciate it. Oh, you're too big to fit in here. There we go. Do we have anything in here we want to keep? A little bit of food, just in case we need to cook some. And we'll keep that. Nice, man. That's kind of a neat little cave. Kind of neat how it's hidden like that. And then I did want to see how it was at night here. Oh, dude, it looks awesome with the, the little lights, you know. So there was one other direction I want to check before we head out for the day. Up this way, just because there's more lights on the road. Oh, this is at the obelisk. Oh, dude, this is literally off to the side of the obelisk. Well, that's going to be easy to find then. I, I don't know how we missed that the first time when we came through. Unless this is a different direction. I think it's a little bit different direction. Turn the lights up a little bit so we can actually see. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So we're actually above the obelisk. Well, it's going to be easy to get back. 
I, I totally thought that was solid and I'd be able to land on it. Let's take a look before we go. I do want to see how the path is down over here. Oh, man, it looks awesome. Well, <laughs> it's been definitely an interesting day. So we found out where the, uh, not the ice titan, where the forest titan is. We definitely need to have a gas mask. I think when we go in there to spawn it, I don't know if it throws us up top here whenever it spawns in. Well, I mean, we'll bring a gas mask just for, for getting in there easier. And then I need to figure out, I'm, I'm guessing we'll be able to use the gigas whenever we go to do that boss fight. And I need to look up to see if there's a world boss. And if so, maybe I'll look up where it's at because this is a huge biome and it's kind of hard to navigate with all the trees and stuff, right? But it's definitely interesting and I do like it, especially at nighttime. We are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.